Hello friends and warm welcome. I've been so inspired by a topic lately and let's dive into it because this, this is something that I recognize from my old habits, my old habits of summer procrastination. Well, I wouldn't rather to say summer procrastination. We all get into that, right? You go on vacation, you have a vacation for what is it? Two, three weeks. Sometimes if you're living in Sweden or Scandinavia, you get five weeks, right? You indulge in living your best life during that summer. And then you come back from that vacation and you go into a deep depression because you realize that you need to go back to work. You need to go back to reality and I've seen this happening so, so many times. So we're going to jump into this topic today, uh, a, a, a topic on how to be, or rather how to become the best version of yourself this summer. Cause I feel that it's so important for us women to really prioritize ourselves in the end. This is all what we talk about right here. How in the best possible way do we women prioritize our own needs, our own desires, our own wants. And we're here to inspire each other, to, to help each other understand that taking some time for yourself is not selfish. So, as the summer unfolds with the most amazing vibrant energy and this is in the western hemisphere right and you're if you're in the eastern hemisphere you're going into the fall season right now but for us here in the western hemisphere this is all about longer days and many of us are finding ourselves yearning for a break yearning for a vacation it's all everyone talks about right it's a moment to breathe finally so what if I actually tell you that this season, this very moment right here, right now can be the most amazing, perfect time to invest in your personal growth. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, now isn't the right time, or I don't have the money to invest in myself right now because all of my money is going on that vacation that I'm spending with my family. Well, trust me, I've heard these concerns before, but today I want to show you why summer vacation can be your best time, your best opportunity to focus on you, your goals and your dreams without you feeling selfish about it. It's all about you taking care of, this, of yourself. So in this session, what we're going to do, we're going to explore seven powerful reasons why summer is the ideal season for personal growth. We'll also dive into how mental clarity and uninterrupted time can supercharge your self improvement journey. And yes, because I've thought of everything <laughs> for this. This is how inspired I am. We're going to talk about budget friendly ways also to invest in yourself and how to build momentum so you can set yourself up for success in the months ahead, right? Because we're, yeah, sure. We're living in the present moment right here, right now, but we also want to build ourselves up for a successful future and our near future after the summer was that it's fall, it's winter, right? I don't even want to think about <laughs> fall and winter right now. So let's focus on right here, right now. On top of that, we're going to talk about three common reasons why women actually hesitate to invest in themselves and how you can overcome these barriers to start thriving today. And all of this is based on personal experience, personal uh, experience with uh, women that I've talked to lately, right? So if you haven't already grab yourself a refreshing drink, make sure to sit down comfortably and and let's embark on this little topic together. And by the end of the session, you're going to see how this summer can be the perfect start of a transformative new chapter in your life. So let's dive in. Let's get started. So let's start with the common reasons why a woman might want might not want to invest in herself and maybe you're going to resonate with this right so a lot of women prioritize other financial responsibilities for example their families right their families needs bills uh, saving for another personal investment like the house a new car uh, and uh, there is a reluctance here to spend money on self-improvement right 
And this can be your downfall by not spending money on yourself, on self-improvement is going to keep you in stagnant mode. If you don't have the self-discipline to do things on a free level, <laughs> then this can be your downfall. And this can be why also a lot of women feel very depressed because they never get to do anything for themselves. So a woman might hesitate to enroll in a professional development course or maybe therapy sessions, coaching sessions, because she feels that money would probably be better spent on her children's education, children's needs, um, and, and the family, right? Or household expenses. Another reason is lack of time, right? So maybe you as a woman are juggling multiple roles. Maybe you have different personalities, not personalities, responsibilities, such as work, family, household duties. And often this might feel a little bit overwhelming, right? Because you're constantly juggling all of these responsibilities and you have very little time for personal growth or activities. So if you are a working mother, for example, you might struggle to find the time for a fitness routine, personal development courses, or even a hobby due to your busy schedule. I mean, raise your hand if you uh, recognize yourself in this. Are you a busy mom or are you a busy working woman that puts everyone else's needs first? Yes or no? <laughs> Another thing that um, is something that I see in a lot of women that I talk to is the self-doubt, right? So there is the self-doubt and that self-doubt is again connected to the prioritization of others. So many women experience self-doubt and put other people's needs first before their own. And this might leave you feeling guilty or maybe taking time uh, for everyone else but yourself. So do you see the common factor here? The common factor here is that you as a woman might not want to pursue a leadership training course, for example, which would benefit you and benefit your business because you doubt your capabilities, uh, your capabilities, and you feel that your partner or your children's needs are more important, right? And one of the things that women always say, and I and I, I really mean always is I'll do that later. I will take time for myself later. Uh, I don't have time for this right now, or I don't have money for this right now, but when I will have this and that, I will do this and that. It always comes down to one thing, time, money investment and self doubt, right? And I know, I know it's hard, but when, will you understand that your needs are just as important as your partners and your children? And now you're sitting here thinking to yourself, well, Monica, that's easily said, right? But let's be honest. Do you even think about your own needs or do you think about your family's needs first? In the end, we need to explore the possibilities here, right? So as we now delve into the talk about vacation and how vacation can be an, an amazing opportunity for you to dive into a new chapter into your life, let's talk about one thing first. Let's talk about the pitfalls, the pitfalls of vacation. And this is also something that I see throughout every time someone goes on vacation. And, and I know this because I come from that culture. The Swedes, the Scandinavians, we have winter so many months of the year that when summer comes, we just go bananas. We go crazy. We live our lives fully during summertime, during vacation time. And then fall comes and we become super depressed, right? Because we can't do the same things that we used to do during the vacation time. So. How do we not fall into this pattern of mega procrastination and overindulging in alcohol or unhealthy foods during vacation time? Again, this is a topic that might be very, very sensitive, but I'm going to speak it for an educational lens. There's no judgment. There's no guilt tripping there. I just want to raise this. I just want to talk about this before we go into the positives. So let's get all of those negatives away. Let's talk about physical health decline. So vacations, 
are usually times to unwind and enjoy, right? Let's be honest, honest about this. And we're supposed to, but overindulging in alcohol and unhealthy foods can take a toll on your physical well-being. So when we overconsume excessive amounts of alcohol, our bodies are going to struggle to process it because you're going into a habit that you're not used to. And this might lead you to fatigue, dehydration, and also digestive discomfort. And similarly, a diet in, in high unhealthy foods that is lacking all of those essential nutrients, they can also leave you feeling sluggish and impact your overall energy levels. So it's really important to here to understand the balance between nourishing our bodies with moderation in mind. You're supposed to enjoy yourself. Go and have a drink. If you drink alcohol and you enjoy it, go ahead and have it. I'm not going to tell you that alcohol is bad for you. We all know that alcohol is bad for us, but it's all about moderation, right? So another thing, consider your mental or emotional well-being. What am I talking about here? So our mental and emotional states as women are very intertwined they're very closely tied to what we consume yes if you remember from the last live stream we were talking about gut health we were talking about ibs and i was mentioning that our link between what we eat is linked to how we feel and also our mental well-being so while it's really tempting to indulge again in excessive food foods and alcohol, this can really disrupt your sleeping patterns, right? And during vacation, we're thinking like, ah, you know what? I'm just going to allow myself instead of thinking that now I'm going to take the opportunity to sleep a little bit more, to nourish my body a little bit more. So we're doing the opposites. We're doing everything that's actually negative for our bodies. And I'm not saying that you're doing this. I'm just saying that this is the overall tendencies that people have during vacations, right? So a diet lacking in nutritional value can also impact your brain function. And you're like, okay, why is she talking about the brain again? It's really important because it it makes us lethargic it makes us really irritated right so as a woman being mindful of what we consume can actually help us balance our hormones and this will help you with keeping that positive mindset and our emotions stable during vacation time because in the end we just want to enjoy our vacation and be happy right last but not least let's talk about productivity and goal achievements so vacation Vacations are again, it's an opportunity for us to recharge, right? But mega procrastination can hinder our productivity and delay progress. And it's okay, completely okay if you're saying, no, I don't want to do anything. I just want to rest and do zero. Then that is your choice. But I'm here to tell you that this is the perfect opportunity to actually do something for yourself, to progress towards personal and professional goals. And it doesn't have to be exhausting thing because it's easy to get caught up in all of those leisure activities that you do during summer without realizing the overall impact, right, of, of, of uh, how this can affect us. So again, finding that balance between relaxation and productivity, it ensures we're making the most of our time away, fostering personal growth and development. So when we understand the pitfalls and maintaining balance, we can make all of these amazing informed decisions of how we can support our well-being and how this will affect us on a long-term goal way, right? And again, vacations are what? They're there to help us, to rejuvenate us, to inspire inspire us. So what do you need to do for yourself this summer to get inspired? What can you do for yourself to embrace moderation and mindfulness? And what can you do for yourself to make the most out of your precious time this summer? So 
I just want to address why I've chosen to talk about the negatives first before we dive into all of the opportunities for personal growth. Again, it's not about guilt tripping or discouraging anyone from enjoying their time off. Rather, it's about you fostering awareness and balance. And by understanding this, by acknowledging the, the potential negative impacts of that mega procrastination over the overindulgence in alcohol and unhealthy foods, we can actually approach our vacation with mindfulness and ease. So understand these challenges can be there, but you can make informed choices that will empower you and that will support your overall well-being. All right, so now that we are armed with this full awareness, let's shift our focus into the positive aspects of self-growth. Yay! <laughs> so, all right, I'm excited to share with you how this time during the summer can be the most transformative transformative, inspiring, and empowering time. So let's dive into it. First, let's talk about mental clarity and reflection. Vacation time provides a much needed break. We already know this, right? But it also gives us a break from our daily routines, maybe work, maybe taking our kids to different activities and so on. So this break allows us to gain mental clarity and engage in self-reflection. And I know that you've probably been there. If you've been on vacation, you've been lying there on the beach or next to the pool, you have a lot of time for self-reflection. Maybe you read a book or maybe you just lie there, enjoy the music, you know, you check on your kids every now and then, but this is the perfect moment to assess where we are in life and identify our areas of improvement. I don't know how many times during the summertime I have caught myself thinking, oh, I need to do this. Oh, I need to do that. I want to do this for myself when I come back home and I want to dive into this activity or I want to learn this new skill, right? Do we have so many ideas popping up and that's because because our shift, our mental shift from all of those daily routines are focused on ourselves because we have time to wind down. So as you enjoy your vacation, take some time to think about your goals and your aspirations. Reflect on what is working for you and what's not. Maybe you want to bring a journal with you, a diary and a pen, right? And write these things down. So this self-awareness, it can be very motivating and it's crucial and it's a for, and it's the first crucial step for us in our personal self-development. And that is what? Self-awareness. Understanding where I am versus where I want to be. Another thing, the next thing, uninterrupted time for learning. Hmm. And now you're thinking, well, I still need to look after my kids. I still need to make sure that my kids have activities during the vacation. Yes. But even while you're on a vacation, you do have a number, uh, a reduced number of work related directions, right? And distractions. This means that you have more uninterrupted time to dedicate to learning and self improvement. I love this. So while you're laying there at the pool, I'm not saying that everyone is going to be laying there at the pool, but as you have time to wind down, use this time wisely. Maybe you want to dive into those personal development books. Maybe you want to enroll in an online course or join a workshop. Maybe you want to listen to all of those TED talks or those YouTube inspirational series that you have there on your watch or to-do list. So all of these activities can greatly enhance your skills and knowledge, and it might actually set you up for success. And you might come back from your, your vacation being super inspired. Third topic, explore enhance creativity and problem solving all right so while we are on vacation believe it or not but this is the perfect time to boost our creativity and problem solving abilities how so because as we are winding down our brain again the brain goes into brainstorming mode yeah we start to think about all of the things that we want to do so it's the perfect time to brainstorm and plan your personal growth and this is the perfect time for you to 
engage in all of those activities like again i'm going to mention this again journaling maybe you want to create a vision board all of these practices can help you create a roadmap for yourself on your personal and professional growth so maybe you're not diving into personal growth right now maybe you're diving into professional growth and you just need to have that time for yourself to create the roadmap to create a time uh, for yourself to do so this is the perfect time so your mind Mind will be more relaxed during your vacation time and when it's more relaxed all of the best ideas and solutions will come up number four let's talk about budget-friendly growth opportunities because I know that this is a topic that we want to hear right because as we go on vacation maybe you spend all of your hard earning money to go on that vacation and you don't have that money to 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 jump into another personal online course or maybe you're just not sure if you can commit to that whatever it is investing in personal growth doesn't have to be expensive there are plenty of low cost or free resources available and if you follow me online whether it's on YouTube in my Facebook community on Instagram this is the perfect time to dive into all of the sessions all of the trainings that I have been offering here right so uh, check out all of the resources that are available to you all of the topics about women's health women's uh, minds women's hearts and emotions how to live a life according to your wants your needs and desires there are so many ways to grow during this uh, this time and you have so many resources here for you next one is how do we build momentum before fall right this is another key point because in the end summer will come to an end <laughs> i know it's so sad but how do we build momentum for the more intensive growth activities so you can keep on thriving and keep that inspiration for for the fall when you start now during the summer you are going to be inspired to continue for the fall starting your personal growth it is your indicator it is something that will help you create positive habits and you will carry them with you until the busier fall season and by the time the fall comes around you'll go you'll be ahead of your game right with a solid fall foundation already in place and let's not forget about the last topic here networking and social opportunities being in a space with like-minded people like you're here with all of the beautiful women around you in whether you're watching this or whether you're listening to this uh, this is a community where women come together to to grow right so maybe dive into the community here and see how the community can serve you but maybe you can go on summer workshops, conferences, social gatherings. Maybe you can dive deeper with one of your friends into a growth opportunity and doing it together. Whatever it is, find yourself a mentor or a new friend who inspires you, right? Because in the end, the people that we surround ourselves with are also the people that we become, the personalities that we become. All right. so when you look at the personal development during your summer time know that summer can be a game changer and imagine yourself going on a 90-day journey that is designed to help you connect to your body your mind and heart so it can ultimately help you uncover and live your true life purpose and why is it so important to start now again as we mentioned summer is not just about relaxation it's a season of transformation and preparation 